which was the year of the dragon. And the first time I performed this sequence was in 2012, which was also the year of the dragon. So standing at the top of your mat, so raising your arms up and swooping them down, opening up your body. Usually I do this a couple times and then I sway right to left. And this sequence is like a dance, so you can't go wrong with it. And if you miss some moves, it doesn't matter, just keep going, kind of like life. Hands come together in prayer, right leg rises up. Come forward into warrior three, right leg goes back. Open your arms out to the sides and fly. the ground, dragon tail goes back. Bring your body down into lizard. So your back foot comes down, your knee can come to the ground or it can stay up and rise and fall in your lizard. Surrendering and rising. Opening up your left arm, open your body to the side of the room with an inhale into a twisted lizard and just allow that wing to fly and it comes down and this time it'll come on the outside of your left foot dragon tail comes back out which is your right leg bring that right leg down rise up into a crescent moon hands come down one-legged down dog. Now bring that tail down to the ground in between your left foot and your hands and open into wild thing. Left hand comes back down to the ground. Raise that right foot back up into one-legged dog and then bring that leg over to the outside of your body and plant it firmly outside of your left leg and come into wild thing. Right hand comes back down, tail, which is your right foot, rises back up into one-legged dog and then bring that foot forward, your right foot forward in between your hands and rise up into warrior three, flying like a dragon. Hands come together in prayer. And this time your left knee rises up in front. Standing back in Tadasana, raise your arms up again. Flying those wings, sway your arms open, bowing down, rising up. come together in prayer, left knee comes up, left foot goes back into warrior three, opening up your dragon wings, fly, that foot comes down firmly on the ground and then come down into lizard, so both hands are on the inside of your right foot rise and fall left hand plants firmly on the ground and your right hand raises up into a twisted lizard swaying your arm opening up looking up at your hand bring that right hand down so it's on the other side of your front foot and your back leg comes up into a one-legged dog so your right foot is planted and your left foot rises up. Bring that left foot down to the ground and come on up into a crescent moon. Hands come down. Left foot comes up into three-legged dog. And then bring that left foot 
foot in between your right foot and your hands. Let it slide down and raise your right hand up, coming into Wild Thing. Right hand comes back down, left leg goes back into one-legged dog, and then open into Wild Thing the other way. Left hand comes back, left foot rises back up into a one-legged dog, and then bring that knee forward, foot comes in between your hands and rise up into warrior three with your dragon wings out, flying, feeling, hands come together in prayer. Right knee rises up and back down into Tadasana. Swooping your wings one more time. Flowing your arms, enjoying the dance, the rise and the fall. So you can come down to the ground and take a little rest in child's pose. And then we're gonna do this again and I'm going to really confuse you with my rights and my lefts. And I find that it kind of depends on the day on how I do my dragon sequence. And it's a dance, so it's okay for you to do that yourself when you're doing this on your own. So back in Tadasana, standing at the top of your mat, Raise your arms up, swaying your wings. And we're just gonna do a vinyasa here. So hands can come down to the ground. Step your feet back into plank. Chaturanga down, flowing up into upward facing dog. Come into downward facing dog. Reach your right leg back, stretching out your tail. And then your left. Back into downward facing dog and then hop forward so that your feet are between your hands or close to your hands. Rise back up, swaying your wings, enjoying the dance. Up and down, bowing. Bring your right knee up, hands are in prayer. Right leg goes back, reaching out into warrior three. Flying your wings, opening your wings, as graceful as you can. Let that right foot come down behind and then fall down to the ground into a lizard. So your hands are both on the inside of your left foot. Rise and fall. Heart comes down to the ground. Open up your left arm to the sky, looking up in a twisted lizard, moving your arm around. And then when you bring that hand down, bring it to the outside of your left foot. Raise your tail in behind you with your right leg coming up. Step back with that right leg and open up into a crescent moon. Hands come down to the top of your mat and then take that left foot back to meet the right, chaturanga down, cobra or upward facing dog, come up into downward facing dog. Right foot comes back as your tail, swoop that right leg, the area between your back foot and your hands. Right hand is down on the ground for support, looking up at your left arm, left hand comes back down, right leg comes back and then open up your wild thing the other way, bringing that leg around your body, planting your foot on the outside of your left. Bring that leg back around. You can chaturanga down with one leg if you would like. Upward facing dog and come into downward facing dog. Right leg comes back again into one legged dog. Step that right foot in between your hands. And then you can do all around the world here and you can play with this when you're doing this on your own. I come back into Tadasana. And this time your left leg is gonna come back 
hands are at heart center and then reaching out into warrior three fly your wings out to the side step your left foot back to the back of your mat bring your body down into lizard so hands come down on the inside of your right foot open your body to the right side raising your right arm into twisted lizard right hand comes down to the outside of your right knee raise your left foot up and then plant it in behind you and bring your body up into a crescent moon hands come down on either side of your front foot step your right foot back to meet the left chaturanga down upward facing dog a one-legged dog bring that left foot in the space in between your back foot and your hands and open up your right arm right hand comes down left leg rises back up bring that left foot in behind into wild thing left hand back down left foot comes back into one-legged dog step your left foot forward and rise up into warrior three back into tadasana one more time again a little bit different so starting at the top of your mat again raising your arms up bowing down half lift hands come down step your feet back into plank chaturanga down upward facing dog downward facing dog Pop your feet forward in between your hands. Fly your wings up with an inhale. Swoop your arms down and fly your wings, bowing down, rising up. Bring your right knee up. Hands are at heart center. Reaching your hands out in front of you into warrior three. Bring your wings out to the side. Step your right foot back. Hands come down into lizards on the inside of your left leg. Heart comes down to the ground. Planting your right hand firmly down. Open your left hand to the left side of your body. Rise and fall. You can circle your arm. Left hand comes down to the outside of your left foot. Planting your right foot down behind you. Swoop your left leg behind you into a one-legged dog. Bring your left foot forward in between your hands. Rise up into crescent moon. Hands come down on either side of your front foot. Bring your left foot back. Chaturanga down one-legged. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog left foot comes up bring that left foot in between the space open your body left foot reaches back again into one-legged dog and then bring it over the other way into wild thing left hand comes down always fix your feet if you have to one-legged dog left foot up chaturanga down cobra or upward facing dog downward facing dog jump between your hands rise up to standing left foot rises up knee tucks in extends back and behind you arms reach out into warrior three open up your wings fly your wings up and down left foot steps down and behind Bring your body down into lizard, heart comes down, rise and fall. Open up your right arm facing the right side of the room, circling your arm, opening your body, twisted lizard. Right hand comes down to the outside of your right foot. Right foot sweeps back into one-legged dog. Right foot comes forward in between your hands, rise up into crescent moon. Hands come down on either side of your front foot. Right foot goes back again into one-legged dog. Chaturanga down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. One-legged dog, right foot is up. Bring that right leg in between the space and open up your body. Left hand comes back down. 
Right leg raises up behind. Open your body up again into wild thing. Right arm comes down. Right leg goes back up into one-legged dog. Chaturanga down. Upward facing dog and come into downward facing dog. Hop forward between your hands. Rise up to upward salute. Hands come together in prayer. And you did it. Beautiful and confusing and so many different ways to do it. But I hope you enjoyed the dance. So really important today to rest and surrender and supine come into Shavasana. Often this is where the tears will flow. And just think about how quickly 20 years goes by and all the rises and falls that we have and the times that we have fire and the times that we have strength and the times we fall to the ground and our hearts come down first and I just really hope that today you enjoy this dance and I hope that you really make the most of this 2020 20 years later and I hope you will bring out this video again when you are holding your own grief and need to release or you do your own movements and you find comfort and you find heat and passion
So when you're ready, you can find your position for your meditation today. And just find a peaceful place of stillness, of gratitude, of strength. I hope you continue to dream and realize that as long as you can move and rise and fall, that you should. And it's funny how none of us have ever seen a dragon and yet we know so much about them. And the next time you see a dragonfly, I hope you do a little dance.
can't thank you enough for joining me on these 20 days. And I hope to hear from you. I hope you continue to dream and imagine. And dance. Namaste, my beautiful friend.